G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome to Shit Easy Motorcycle Camp Cooking. Right, so what we're doing is sausages in bread. It's winter here in Australia. I'm going out for a ride and I feel like I want to do a little bit of cooking, have something hot to, uh, hot to have. Doing these uh, snags in bloody uh, bread is simple as. All you've got to do is a bit of pre-preparation um, before you go, which I'm going to show you. All the food is contained in there. Um, I'm going to be using the big fry pan and the big stove as opposed to my little one, which I'll give you a bit of a comparison between why this is really good to use with the big pan. Let's just get into it, eh? Rightio, so what's in, so I've got a little esky because there is butter, cheese, snags, the onion doesn't matter. Little ice block, remember put your ice block on the top because all the cold air wants to sink down to the bottom. Great little tip that one. There's my sausages. So these would have been um, frozen, in the actual fact these ones were frozen. Um, I had to mic uh, nuke them to bloody uh, warm them up. But normally by the time you get to where you're going, they're unfrozen, so they're right to go. I did this on the Creswick Tag Along ride and I had um, this for actually for tea and it just worked really well so I thought I'd share it with you. So we've got two snags, have as many snags as you want. There's the bag gone. So in here is the, the pre-preparation part. Obviously, make sure you freeze your snags before um, leaving. And boom, there is my bread with the, um, the cheese. And this stuff here is just baking um, paper. I'll chuck that in there and it'll bloody shush up. And what, that, what this does is it just stops the cheese or any of the butter sticking to the bread, you know, when that happens. So it's a real pain in the ass. So as you can see, these have come out really well. So we'll put them to the side. Um, they can go to the side. So the only prep we've got to do now is just this onion. Now you, I could have chopped this up, um, put it in a Ziploc bag and chucked it in there so I didn't have to do this, but when you cut that up and it's, if it happens to open or whatever, the smell that these bloody come up with, it's just crazy. Actually, I need a knife. Right, eh? just a simple uh, steak knife. I'll do this in fast motion, guys. Now, obviously for um, two snags, I don't need a whole bloody um, onion, but anyway. Ah, oh, that'll do, guys. Um, having one of these little, uh, what do you call it? What do you call those things? The um, chopping, the chopping board. You get these, um, I don't know what it's, some type of bloody plastic. They're normally a lot bigger. Just grab one of those, a couple of bucks from Kmart or wherever, big W, um, and then just cut them. Cut them to whatever size. This fits perfectly in my um, pack. Righto, so that's that's it. That's the, that's all the preparation done, so that move that to the side. Now, I wanted to show you, so obviously this is, everybody knows who watches, that this is my um, little stove that I always run with. So it has a, has a stove, has an adapter, use these cheap ass cans, pick them up on special, they're like a dollar each. And, oh, my thing's gone around. Oh, we're up. All right, we'll just use that. So there you go, you've got a flame there. When I have my little fry pan or my pot, this is perfect. I put the uh, that gauze mat over the top. But as you can see, it's a big base and all your heat's gonna be in the middle. So, I 
I uh, check check this out. This is oh, pretty. Uh, this is pretty good. This was given to me years ago. I don't know whether I've done this on these bloody things. So it's there's your stove. That's your little adapter. This hooks straight into here, and it's really weird the way it, it holds on. It's like a friction, but it holds on really well. Pull out our little um, legs like that. Um, and we've got to pull out the bottom ones. Stick that somewhere like that. Now, I'll just use my lighter, it's just so much easier. Turn this on. Jeez, all right, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, here we go. At Creswick, it was doing this flare up all the time. All the guys thought it was bloody, it was bloody. Whoa. And I thought it was the cold that was doing it, but maybe it's this stove. You get these on, uh, uh, on eBay. Oh, so anyway, there you go. So you have a much bigger uh, spread of the flame when you sit, stick that on there to cook up your your sausages. That's the point that I'm getting to. Obviously, you use a lot more gas because it's a bigger burner. Um, all right, let's shut up. So got our pan. got a life of its own. Chuck in some oil. Don't need much, it's only two sausages. So yeah, maybe don't buy one of these. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. Is it maybe, is it because this is a certain way? Don't know. Right, where's my food? Chuck that on there. Chuck the old snagger is in. I should normally wait for that to heat up. You don't need tongs, obviously, but I've got tongs in my pack, so that's what I use. Give that a bit of a swish around. Oop. And, shit, don't forget me onions. I need me onions. Chuck me onions in there. So if you think, you know, you're out in the bush, you're bloody set up somewhere, it's a bit chilly, um, what a great lunch to make. And these, these snags will cook up real quick. Oh, the old onions, man. Oh. Right, so I'll now come back to you guys when this is uh, pretty much ready to go. And this is it, this is all we've got to do. Cook this up, chuck it in our bread and away we go. Oh, the old dead horse, tomato sauce, better get some of that. Bloody hell guys, I've been looking all over the place for me tomato sauce, I thought I'd lost it. Jesus, what's going on here? I'm burning me sausages. Yeah, I was looking all inside, trying to find it. So then I brought out just the normal tomato sauce that we have in the kitchen, and I've just seen it on the bench. That thing's still bloody flaring up. No, it smells good. Alright, how's me old fire going? Oh.
apparently I'm not liking this bloody stave at the minute. Which way? Bloody, the thing just went out by, so I didn't realise it was going out. Well, I reckon, guys, this is just about done. Turn that off. Whoa! Hopefully that's going to turn. Is that going to turn? Come on, hurry up. Right, here we go. Grabbed our bread. Put our snags in. Chuck some onion on there. Like that. Oh. Good old tomato sauce. Drizzle that on there. Beautiful. Look at that, that looks bloody delicious. And there you go guys, that's it. It is bloody done. So we'll grab one of these up. See if I can burn me mouth on it. Hey, check that out. Better than Bunnings. Ooh. Wait for it to cool down maybe a little bit. Nicely cooked through. There you go. Sit back, relax. You got a mate or buddy whatever, have a bit of a chin wag. Talk about bullshit. How you nearly lost it bloody in the, in the rut down back past there. And then clean up is just a fry pan. Like I said, you don't need tongs. You could just use a bloody a knife or a stick to uh, to muck, muck around with that. Uh, I think that's oh, and the knife, knife and the uh, it's just onion, so it's all cleaned up. Mmm. Hey, life doesn't get any better than this. Little campfire, hot food in me belly. Righto, hope you enjoyed that guys. Remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.